Hello, hello, this is Joe from Nerd in Korea. We are doing another MTG budget upgrades and we're looking at Graveyard Hate today. This is a very important thing to consider for your deck. All right. If you can hit like and subscribe, that would really help out a lot. Again, we're still a pretty small channel. So yeah, every, every little bit helps a lot. Also, if you want to contact me or give any kind of feedback on Facebook, it's MTG Nerd in Korea as well. Okay, so what do I mean when I say budget? Because people mean all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, I mean $2 or less, which I think is actually budget. I hear people say budget and they're like, it's only like $9. Like, yeah. Yeah, if you spend $9 on every card in a commander deck, that's $900. Like, that ain't budget, buddy. Anyway. Also, when I'm using TCG market value, not a sponsor. Not at all. No, nope, not one bit. Deck upgrades. So when building a deck, most people think of the main functions that a deck needs, like ramp, card draw, and so on. Ramp and card draw are usually the first things you come up with when you're building your deck, right? How do you make sure those things are covered? Too often people overlook graveyard hate. And this is definitely true. A lot of times I look for modal spells that have graveyard hate. This is like repeatable or potentially repeatable graveyard hate in this video. So this is making sure your opponents keep, don't keep pulling up the same things that the graveyard to hit you with. Really, if you play a whole game and no one has any graveyard recursion at all, that would be weird. It would be really weird if no one had it. Um, I, I, I have something at least prepared. Again, decks that re rely on graveyard recursion are pretty much shot down by the graveyard hate, right? So you can really just like put a stop to a lot of strategies. It's going to be useful all the time, and sometimes it's just going to like pretty much turn off a deck. Number five. The Web of Inertia. So we have two in a blue. This one's very interesting. It's an enchantment. At the beginning of each opponent's combat phase, that player may remove a card from their, his or her graveyard from the game. If that player doesn't, um, creatures they control... Um, sorry. Creatures he or she controls can't attack you this turn. So basically, they need to, like, you're making a cost for attacking. It's kind of like a pillow fort, but much, much better. Paying two mana is pretty easy. They have to discard a creature from their graveyard. It means they have to have a creature card in their graveyard and they can't just reanimate it. They gotta keep it there so that they can pay this like tax that you have. Also, it's also great with any other kind of graveyard hate because like you just exile their graveyard and then you play this and then they can't do anything. They can't attack you. You've basically taken away their ability to like affect you for the rest of the game. Yeah, this is like a Graveyard Hate Graveyard Synergy card. Um, Graveyard Hate Synergy card is what I mean to say. Anyway, 36 cents. Oh yeah, this is recommended by David Malik on the uh, budget Facebook group. Um, thank you, David. And all of the remaining cards were recommended by uh, J. Ben Heinel. Heinel, I, I hope I'm saying it right. I feel like I'm probably not. So he also has a YouTube channel called Ben Buys Beverages. Uh, I checked it out a little bit. I'm pretty sure I got the right one. Um, but yeah, he also does like readings of Lovecraft and things like that on his channel. So I think it's pretty interesting. Um, I actually used to love listening to like readings of Lovecraft stuff. And then I had some, well, I had a stroke basically. I'm fine and all, but it... Um, Ever since then, I couldn't really listen to it without getting too freaked out. I think I got a little bit, yeah, too antsy out of that. So, I should try again. I haven't tried in a few months. Maybe I'm, I've calmed down a bit. But anyway, thank you, Ben. Number four. Samurai of the Pale Curtain. So this is two white for a 2-2 two -two with Bushido 1. That means if it blocks or is blocked, it gets plus one, plus one. Nice little bonus. If a permanent will be put into a graveyard, remove it from the game instead. Okay, this is limited to permanents. Also, it does affect your own things, right? Your own permanents going to your graveyard are getting exiled as well. Remove from the game just means exile. It's kind of like an old school way to say that. But yeah, 
It uh, it uh, it's quite nice, honestly. But remember, most uh, grave being limited to permanence might sound like a bad thing. Most graveyard recursion is for permanence, though. So yeah, it's actually much more difficult to like recur instants and sorceries than it is permanence. So uh, this will do the job most of the time. Twenty-one cents. Number three, and our void. For one black this enchantment, it says, whenever you draw, or sorry, whenever a card is put into a graveyard, remove that from the game. Once again, this does affect yours, but it's whenever a card. So any card goes to a graveyard, it's exiled automatically. Um, also, it being, this effect being on an enchantment instead of on a creature is much more safe. So this is definitely a step up. Wish it did affect your own things though, but anyway, 139, one black, I mean, nice. Number two, rest in peace. So one and a white for this enchantment. So when it comes in, it exiles all graveyards. So this is the thing that was kind of missing from our graveyard heat before, is actually just removing people's graveyards. That is, I mean, making sure things are not going into the graveyard is great, but you also will be like, it really like, you know, dot all the, uh, dot all the I's and cross all the T's kind of thing to exile the graveyards and prevent anything from going in there. Um, so that you're not waiting for them to like pull it out one more time, just break that chain. You're gonna break it right away. Anyway, 32 cents. Number one. Ley line of the void. This seems like it's worse by the casting cost, but hold up. Anyway, two black back for this enchantment. If a card will be put into an opponent's graveyard from anywhere, exile it instead. Okay, this specifies an opponent's graveyard, so there's one thing that's very important. It's not, you're not exiling your own stuff. Um, very, very nice. And yeah, if Leyline of the Void is in your opening hand, you begin begin the game with it on the battlefield. You're just gonna get a free enchantment at the start of the game that's gonna prevent anything from going into anyone's graveyard, um, or any of your opponent's graveyards, I should say. But yeah, and it is a card, right? This is any card goes to the graveyard. It gets exiled. Um, Who? Or if it would be put into a graveyard, it gets exiled. Not once it goes to a graveyard. That does matter, actually. Anyway, 37 cents only. This is so good. Mm. A list. Okay, Web of Inertia is 36 cents. Samurai of the Pale Curtain is 21 cents. Hunter Void is 139. Rest in Peace is 32 cents. Ley line of the void is only 37 cents. I gotta pick up those ley lines. Take it easy.